Well, OpenAI, yes, uh, that is, of course, October 6th, 2025, San Francisco. OpenAI Dev Day is back. And this time, it's not just about models, it's about control. It's about owning the AI era end to end. Because the rumor mill says Sam Altman's about to unveil something that could change everything about how we build, deploy, and even think about AI. Introducing Agent Builder, a drag and drop canvas inside chat GPT that actually lets anyone, yes, anyone can create and deploy production ready AI agents without code, without chaos. And this is what it is. So let's go ahead and imagine this. You drag a logic block, connect a tool, give it memory, hit publish, and voila, your AI goes live. That's what insiders call OpenAI's App Store moment. What Apple did for apps, OpenAI is about to do for intelligence. And if this is real, it means the AI ecosystem as Zapier, N8N, Make, AutoHive, even Claude workflows could feel the shockwaves tomorrow. But this isn't just happening in isolation. The past few weeks have been a non-stop takeover for OpenAI. First came Sora 2, the viral Instagram meets TikTok app where users can create remix and star in AI-generated videos. Then, instant checkout, OpenAI's entry into e-commerce, letting you shop from inside ChatGPT using Etsy and Stripe integrations. And just days ago, the aqua hire of Roy. Well, a personal finance AI companion that talks to you like your most self-aware friend. Altman's playbook is quite clear. Create, buy, build, own. From content to commerce to capital, all inside ChatGPT. So what exactly are we actually expecting at Dev Day? Here it is. Number one, the long rumored agent builder. Leaks show a visual interface, code blocks for logic, native connectors to MCP, tools and chat kick widgets for front end experience. This is autonomy democratized. Number two, the mysterious Kanzi Studio, a next-gen canvas for multimodal creation. Think collaborative coding, AI video editing, and workflow visualizations all in real time. Number three, Sora 2 Pro in the API. Developers could finally generate cinematic grade AI videos on demand. So imagine scripting, storyboarding, and rendering all inside ChatGPT. And of course, whispers of a new GPT-5 checkpoint. One rumor claims this. GPT-5 Pro solved a Cambridge-Oxford unsolved math problem in 14 minutes flat. If true, that's not hype. That's actually history in the making. But let's not forget, this is a developer event. 1,500 people at Fort Mason, San Francisco. The biggest dev day ever. And the closing act, well, Sam Altman in conversation with Juni Ive, Apple's design legend. That's not a random pairing because OpenAI's next product may not be another app. It could be a device. The stakes couldn't be higher. Google's Gemini 3 drops next week. Meta is building its own RISC-V AI chips to escape NVIDIA's grip. Anthropic's Claude keeps growing as the safe intelligence and yet OpenAI still commands the spotlight because while everyone's chasing better models, OpenAI is quietly building the builder of models. For developers, this could be the shift from duct tape agents to native intelligence workflows. No APIs, no prompts, no patches. Just build once and scale infinitely. If OpenAI nails reliability, pricing and observability tomorrow, it could actually be remembered as the day agents went mainstream. And if not, well, Google's waiting right behind. The countdown has begun. Tonight, Sam Altman takes the stage. And once again, the world will watch, not just for what OpenAI builds, but for what it becomes. Please do let us know what you think in the comments below and please make sure that which announcement you are excited about from Dev Day 2025. Also, 
please keep them detailed because we would love to read them all. Also, after San Francisco, Sao Paulo takes the stage on October 16th. London follows on 21st of October. Bengaluru, the only India stop, lights up on 4th of November. Then Tokyo on 11th of November. And finally, Seoul on 13th of November. Each event focuses on local developer communities, live demos and early access workshops. Part of OpenAI's push to turn developers into distributors of intelligence. For right now, we'll take a short little break. But when we are back, we'll be back with a lot more on front page on, well, AIM Network.